Hi, real quick. Hey! I'm gonna actually show you rather than send you pictures. Um, I got my fish tanks going. I'm sorry about keeping you guys waiting. I want to do this in the daylight because it's a lot prettier in the daylight. And we'll see how these turn out. But I've got two planted tanks. This one is, let's see, there's, there's some of the shrimp. Focus. Well, so I have ember tetras and neon tetras in here, as well as a couple auto sinkless, which I can't see, and some uh, some orange shrimp. There's a good picture. I'm trying to get them to breed, and they are breeding. There's one of them. Um, where is he? There he is. They're hard to film because this camera sucks. I should do it with my other one, but oh well. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm doing live plants. I always wanted to do live plants. And they're starting to spread. You can see this one here. Focus. That there is the new branch from the one back there. So that's pretty cool. I like this tank a lot. It's a 20 long, and uh, yeah, the shrimp are interesting. I've never had, I've never had shrimp breed or any kind of fish breed. I never did a good enough job. I, I think it's my fault to make them happy enough to want to breed. So now, so I, my big goal was to get something that was kind of easy to breed and also wouldn't just blow up my tanks entirely, and not be able to produce, I would just have to start giving away fish like guppies or something like that where they breed regardless of what you do and you end up with thousands of guppies and nobody wants guppies after you've given them you just give them away. With shrimp I can have like a hundred, two hundred shrimp in that tank and it I mean it'll be a lot but it won't be a problem that's kind of the point. It'll be cool so alright here's the next one. Oh, and there's your kitties. Hi Oscar. Hello. I just came home from work. I wanted to make sure I got the video done right away. So, Felix, hey, Oscar and Felix, destroying my bed one claw mark at a time. But they are adorable, and they're a lot of fun, and they like watching the tanks more than I do, maybe. So this one, I bought. I got this one. This I only have two tanks for now. Um, but this one I have, I got from, uh, on Craigslist for like 50 bucks. Came with the substrate, a bunch of plants in it already. Some more neon tetras. Some, I, th I forget what kind of, what other kind of tetras they are. They're, they're not neons, they're, they're, I don't know what they are. I, 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 it's a pretty common one. I want to get some silver tip tetras and some cardinals. I like the little fish because I could get a lot of them and they are kind of cool. So this grass I planted and it's, you, you can see it's spreading too. I love this stuff. This is growing great and I think it makes this tank look really cool. When it came it had this big leafy thing here. It had that tall thing in the back which wasn't quite so tall and it had that back there. I added some grass which is really not growing. I'm, I don't have enough light oh, and, I, and I don't want to add CO2. I don't want to mess with that yet. So, um, and then this thing is just that. So I, when I got the tank, she basically just tore the top off of the, of the, of the plants to, uh, to make it easier to move. You can see right in there where they all stopped and then grew out of a side thing and kept going. And they look pretty cool. They're red. Um, so I just planted some of the stuff that she tore off and here we are. So in here and they, we have a few Siamese algae eaters. There's one there. There's one back there. They like to lie on their behind the pleco. They like to lie on the ground. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let me drop some food in. We'll get them to swim around a little bit. And because I didn't feed them this morning, anyways. So that works. Stay away, fishies. 
kitties. It's not for you. Oh, gotta get the other one. So again, with my breeding idea, I just, I wanted to do it right, you know? I when, I, when I took care of my fish when I was young, they were, uh, they weren't great. I didn't, I didn't have a planted tank. I didn't take care of them very well. I got bored after a little while. So I wanted to do these ones right. So plants, proper food, and I figured that a good sign that I'm doing everything right would be baby fish. So that's my goal right now. That and, and very cool looking tanks. So, um, come on, open the fish food one-handed here. Nope, not for you. Come on. All right, there. They're starting to move around a little. Just seeing the fish, the stuff come down. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool. They're kind of tank bullies, though. They're a little bit... I had a big one that uh, basically he went crazy. I don't know if he got sick or whatever, but he eventually jumped up into the glass and killed himself. I was just watching him when he did it, and that was it. He was done. So I don't know what happened to him, but he was just a little bit bigger than this guy. This guy's probably about full grown now. I would say he's getting pretty close. That that one back there is bigger too, yeah. So maybe not quite full grown, but anyway, it came with one bristlenose pleco in here, and I decided that I wanted to uh, uh, grow some more. Gets oh look at that, hello, well, that's nice of you. I wanted to grow uh, to to breed some some plecos, and I got these cool guys. They're just they're just bristlenoses. They're kind of He's a good looking one though, look at those fins. They're not long fins, but they are they are pretty happy and healthy looking. Found my little wafers. So I've got four of them in there now. There's one back there in the back. Come on, come back out, there you are. Going after the algae. I scraped the front, but I didn't scrape the back and sides, so they're a little greener. There's the Kui Loge down here, and I inherited, oh there's a little Tetra back here. I inherited a couple of cooey loaches that usually hang out over here. Can we see them? No. Can't see them. They're really good at hiding. They could be anywhere back in there. And I added these, um, these are actually plant stakes. They're just terracotta uh, watering stakes. And they make great caves for the plecos to breed in. So. But they're still too small. I'm waiting for them to get bigger. There's one big one in here. It's a female, I'm pretty sure. But I don't see her right now. She's probably stuck under there somewhere. But, so, yeah, a few Siamese algae eaters, which are going to go in the big 40-gallon when I get that going, because I kind of want this just to be a Pleco tank um, with a few Tetras thrown in. And then the other tank will be shrimp and... If I can get those ember tetras to breed, that'd be fantastic. It'd be a whole tank full of, of ember tetras. But uh, if not, then I will get some cardinal tetras and maybe do those. Or of course these neons. These are these are full grown. I could I could feed them up until they're fat and healthy. It's possible that I've got a, at least one female here in this group of three. That one there at the top is a bigger. I haven't been, you know, feeding them up enough that I think they'd be fat with eggs. But I don't know, maybe. That one there looks pretty fat. Mm -hmm. Compared to the other ones. Can't keep focus on them. They keep swimming around. But that's kind of the point. So this is a, a common state of affairs, too. <laughs> I'm going to design a better... Uh, cover so that they can get inside the filter. There's just a little gap there. So, but anyway, so that's my fish for now. 
I'll show you updates. I want to do a 40 gallon with some plant pots on top to grow basil. And I won't really decorate it, I don't think, because the whole point is to have all the nutrients absorbed by the plants on top, not the plants in the water. So it might just be a bare tank with some, with a colony of some cool fish. I mean, it could be my breeding tank, it could be my pleco tank. Plecos produce a lot of waste. Um, I don't know. I've got lots of thoughts. I've got the tank already, but I haven't set it up yet because I don't have a firm idea on what I want to do. Um, but this shrimp tank is on its way. That's where I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how this went. Woo! Yeah. Hello, Oscar. Hello. Oh, your feelings. You got a butt in my face. Come, come on. Really? You gotta be right in the way? It's cats for you, I guess. There's the embers. I'm hoping they'll redden up a little bit. They're, they're going to stay pretty small, though, so they shouldn't really threaten the, the shrimp at all. The neons might have to come out if, once I start having shrimp babies, which there is a pregnant one in here. Um, I don't think I can find her. It's hard to find these things. There's, there's 20 shrimp in here, and it doesn't look like there's any. But that's why it was shrimp. Um... Once I start having babies, apparently the little tetras will eat anything that's small enough to get in their mouth, and shrimp babies are very, very small. The tetra, the red tetras, the embers, get... Oh, there's the auto. He's just sitting there. Here's one of them. Along with another shrimp coming on to join the party. Come on, focus. Focus. They're just cool to watch these shrimp. I love them. They're fun. So this sits on my dining room table the dining room table that you guys know all too well. So anyway, sorry for the delay. I appreciate you guys. I'll, uh, I'll send you this link in a second. So have a good day.